Bonjour, c'est Claire à French in the Midlands. Hello, Claire at French in the Midlands here. Today's lesson is about how to form the past tense we call passé composé. It's the one we use 90% of the time, so this is a really important lesson. First of all, let's have a look at what the passé composé is. It's the tense we use when we talk about things we did yesterday, last week, last year. It's the one, the past tense we're going to use 90% of the time. It's used for one-off events that happened in the past and that are finished. The question is, how do you work it out? The one thing to remember is that it's made up of two parts, which is why it's called composé. It's either avoir or être, plus verb in the past participle. Now, if that sounds a bit cryptic, don't worry, I explain everything in, on the next page. I'll give you an example. J'ai mangé une pomme. I ate an apple. We say I have eaten. That's why j'ai mangé. Elle est allée au cinéma. She went to the cinema. J'ai perdu mes clés. I have lost my keys. So in the first and the third example, we've used avoir. And in the second one, we've used être. So before we move on, let's find out what the past participle is. It's actually the ed bit in English. The ed of I worked. That's what makes it past tense. So, for regular verbs, if you remember, we had our ER verbs, such as parler, ER. The ending will be E as well. It's a different E, but it sounds exactly the same. So, lucky you, you can get away with that one when you just want to speak. You don't have to know how to spell it. For IR verbs, as in sortir, it changes to sorti. For RE verbs, it changes to U. So, parler, parler, sortir, sorti, vendre, vendu. Irregular verbs, unfortunately, are always a headache. There's no set pattern to follow. If you look at this, the example here, prendre, to take, pris, taken. But notice, in English, it's actually irregular as well. You wouldn't say taken. But in French, there's a lot more irregular ones, and that's the problem. I'll give you another one here. Faire, fait. Faire is to do and to make. Fait is done. So again, another irregular one in English. If you look at the list, actually, spoken is irregular. You don't say speak. Gone is irregular. Sold is irregular. So is taken, so is done. The difficulty is to know when to use avoir or être. I've divided this part in three sections. The first one I call normal verbs. I call them normal because they're the most numerous. They will take avoir plus past participle. So j'ai pris une douche. I took a shower. I have taken in French. Vous avez mangé votre dîner? Have you had your dinner? In French, you eat your dinner. You don't have it. Ils ont travaillé tard. They worked late. On a vu les voisins. We saw the neighbors. So always in two parts. Remember that. Before we move on to irregular verbs, let me mention a verb ebook that I wrote containing detailed explanations and complete verb tables available at frenchinthemidlands.com slash ebooks.html. Second section, motion verbs. There's actually a list of 15 of them, which is available in my ebook, but you can find it online as well. Uh, you just type motion verbs uh, in French and you'll find a list of 15. And unfortunately, you have to learn them by heart because they're not just motion. Um, to be born, to die, to fall, they're all in that category as well. So it's a bit tricky. So better learn the list by heart, really. So those particular one will take être plus past participle, not avoir. 
So, je suis parti hier is I left yesterday or I have left. But in French, it's not I have, it's I am. Je suis parti hier. Il est allé voir ses enfants. Or, il est allé voir ses enfants. He visited his children. Notice here, we don't have a word for to visit someone. So, we said to go and see. Allez voir. He has gone to see his children. Elle est tombée dans l'escalier. She fell down the stairs. So, tombé is in that category of motion verbs as well. On est sorti samedi dernier. We went out last Saturday. You will also use être for reflexive verbs. Reflexive verbs are verbs that apply to yourself, like je me suis levé. Let's have a look at the first example. Je me suis levé à 8 heures. Je me suis levé à 8 heures. I got up at 8 o'clock. Literally, I got myself up at 8 o'clock. If you didn't have the myself, it would apply to somebody else. Then you could say, j'ai levé les enfants à 8 heures. I got the kids up at 8 o'clock. Il s'est promené pendant deux heures. He walked for two hours. Il s'est promené pendant deux heures. Uh, he walked himself during two hours, as we say in French. On s'est rencontré chez Carole. We met at Carol's. On s'est rencontré chez Carole. So we met each other, if you like. And chez, the magic word for to or at somebody's house. On s'est dépêché de partir. We left quickly. On s'est dépêché de partir. Literally, we hurried ourselves up to leave. It's a lot more wordy in French. By now, you're probably thinking, how on earth am I supposed to remember all that stuff? But don't panic. There's an easier way. What I've just done is explained the rule and why it's the way it is. Now, the way you're actually going to learn it is by using each one. You're going to make mistakes and you're going to get it right. And you need to rehearse that again and again. So what I normally do is I give people a list like this one of the main verbs that you're going to use. And eventually, because you're going to repeat them again and again, they'll end up sticking in your head. So, je me suis levé, I got up. Notice there's an E in brackets. If you're a woman, you'd say, je me suis levé with a double E. If you're a man, there's no double E, just E. And that's because when you use être, as in here, the ending has to agree with the gender of the person who's talking. Now, this is quite annoying, but the good news is if you just want to speak French, it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't change the pronunciation. It just changes the spelling. If you want to write French, say for school, you will need to remember that. Je suis allé. I went. So we never say j'ai allé. It's just not possible. Remember that. Je suis allé or je suis allé. J'ai travaillé. I worked. It's one of those normal verbs. Je suis parti. I left. Je me suis promené, reflexive. I walked or I went for a walk. Basically, I walked myself. J'ai mangé, I ate. J'ai bu, I drank. Je me suis rentré, I went back or I came back. And the last one, je me suis couché, I went to bed. You could almost translate this as I tucked myself in. And that's it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have any questions. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And if you're after any mini courses or French ebooks, go to frenchinthemidlands.com. A bientôt.